you're a fellow Californian like me, um, it's been a crazy week in terms of the weather we've been experiencing. It's just been a heat wave all week of like 109, 110 degree temperatures, at least in Sacramento. Um, but also a couple of that, there's just been like the loudest thunderstorms that I've ever experienced before in my life, just coinciding at the same time. So um, a couple of days ago, I like woke up and like heard so, like the loudest booms of thunder like to the point where all the cars in our street were blaring their alarms from the sound and like the vibrations that it was causing and I remember like peeking out through my window and like seeing all my neighbors doing the same thing through their windows and just seeing their little faces and all of us just looked so confused and bewildered because this is not the normal you know this isn't normal for California um, I also just wanted to say thank you to all of my 27 subscribers from the last month since I started my YouTube channel. Um, it really has been such a fun and challenging new project for me and the added challenge is that my full-time job is picking back up. So I'm trying to balance making sure I have all my energy for that but also keeping up the momentum for all the art projects that I have going on for myself. And um, I guess the one positive benefit that I've had from being able to stay home um, during the last couple months is just that I just have fewer distractions that are taking me away from doing my art. So this has been like the most productive couple months that I've ever had to just work on all my art projects, which I've been really thankful for. So I'm gonna try my best to keep that up as well. Um, this, so today I'm going to be working on a gouache painting. I started just like a fun one like the other night, but I really wanna do another one with a little bit better detail. Um, and playing around with the colors a little bit better. And then also I bought a Bob Ross um, magazine when I went grocery shopping today, which normally I don't buy magazines just because now I'm trying to save as much as possible, but it's like a full expose on Bob Ross, who I think is just like such an amazing artist for like bringing the love of creating art and like inspiring people to do art into the mainstream when it wasn't the case. And, I feel like if he was a YouTuber now, he would be a huge YouTuber. So um, I'm really excited to delving into that and seeing what interesting tidbits I can share with you that I've learned. now my birthday and 
Uh, one of my best friends, Julia from Berkeley, she sent me this really cute mask embroidered, which is funny because when I opened it, Eddie was like, that matches your skirt completely. <laughs> so goes to show how well she knows me. So that's a super cute little gift. And then she drew this really cute card <laughs> with a really sweet note inside of it. Um, the picture is supposed to be a little body of like a little rat because she and I um, owned pet rats back in the day. And so um, it's just her funny explanation in the card about how she was drawing out this image and then she couldn't have room for the actual face. So now it just kind of looks like a little like gynecology gift card or a gynecology birth card, <laughs> which is very cute. Also her handwriting is amazing. Um, and then this little book, which I'm interested in reading, I'm gonna see what it's all about. The boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. And the binding is gorgeous as well. Which is very sweet that she timed it so that it actually reached me on my birthday. Um, and then after work, Eddie brought me these really gorgeous flowers, probably the prettiest flowers I've ever had before. Um, he said he loved it because of the eucalyptus and because I love eucalyptus and I just love the overall like shape of the flowers itself. There's a little gift that I haven't opened up yet, but it's from um, Typewriter and Moss, which is like a little local shop in Auburn, California. She, um, I knew the owner, Cleo, because she and I had tabled at an art event together and she had purchased one of my prints back then. And then when she opened up her store, um, she reached out to me to like buy some wholesale prints of mine. So we went up to visit her and to support her shop. And so I'm excited to see what Eddie got me. And yeah, that's my birthday. So sweet.
So I really enjoyed reading this expose on Bob Ross. And I don't want to give away too many details because if you're able to find this magazine um, and read it and enjoy all the thoughtfully written articles of him for yourself, then I don't want to give away too many details. Um, but there's definitely a couple things that I can kind of share without giving too much away. For example, I learned that Bob's signature curly hair is not his natural hairstyle. I learned how he got his start in painting and what age he started painting, which I think is super encouraging for many people. Um, I learned how he got his chance to paint for a television company and how he ended up losing a finger from his previous job on his left hand, so super crazy. And I also learned about the important family members and the teachers and people in his life that believed and supported him so that he could devote his time towards becoming who we now know is this huge beloved public figure in pop culture and who I think really redefined certain aspects about the art world and who has access to being an artist. And so, yeah, it was just a really cool magazine to read. Anyway, that was my vlog. I hope you really enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.